So I went through this kind of before, and I kind of already talked about it, but I just want to make sure we're all understand because in my um, kind of video series, I primarily am going to be focusing on finding the roots. However, uh, we are going to move up to finding the zeros, and we're also going to kind of initially start with looking at the x-intercepts. And you might say, well, you know, why do they all represent the same different thing? And it all kind of depends on what we're looking at. So primarily, when we're talking about x-intercepts, we're just looking at where a graph is going to cross the x-axis, where you can see in this example, I have two x-intercepts. Well, the roots and the zeros mean the exact same thing, but a lot of times we're going to represent them when we're talking about looking at it algebraically. And when algebraically, when we're looking for the roots, we're looking at a quadratic equation. And we're talking, when we're talking about the zeros, we're primarily looking at a quadratic function. Now, remember what I went over in another video that primarily the only difference between quadratic equation and quadratic function is one, the function has to pass the function test, which we'll get to in a, in a different series. But then also, the x and y axes, if we were to graph our equations, because we're going to learn how to solve them, but we were to graph our x and y axis, um, our graph, we know that we'd have a y axis and an x axis. And then for a quadratic function, it's really the same thing, except now our y axis is what we call our f of x axis. But they both represent our output value. And when we want to find the x intercepts, what we're doing is we're still looking for when is our y value equal to zero or our output value equal to zero. So when solving these, or when I say find the zeros of the function, all I'm asking you is find the values of x when our output value is equal to zero. Or I say find the roots of the equation. All I'm asking you to do is find the values of x when our y coordinate is equal to zero. And you'll be able to see that it doesn't matter since they're all quadratics, we're going to have those x-intercepts, or no x-intercepts, or one x-intercept, but we're going to be finding the same process. It just kind of depends if we're dealing with an equation or a function, um, or just looking at a graph, how we're going to be determined what are the x-intercepts, the zeros, or the roots. It just really depends on what kind of question we're given, um, but as far as the process, or the, the question, or the equation, or a function we're given, However, the process is going to be exactly the same. We could solve these either algebraically, um, graphically, algebraically by completing the square, quadratic formula, square root method, or quadratic formula. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the difference between roots, zeros, and x-intercepts. Thanks.